Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this is your day off, too. You've been out gigging. Yeah. I love it when people call it gigging. Yeah. You know, like musicians, they say, I got a gig, I'm out <laughs> gigging. Right. People in my business, we don't call it gigging. Really? I say, what were you doing? I was just making a jackass out of myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as cool as gigging. But anyway, it's very nice to have you here. Thanks Making for time for us. Your, let's talk about your band is called LMFB. LMFP. LMFP. Yeah. LMFP, that's right. LMFP. Doesn't really stick in my... LMFP. What does that stand for? Can I say it? Yeah. Lisa Marie <laughs> Presley. <laughs> Was Bresley. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you sure? Check it up again. <laughs> and wait a minute, no, you can't say that, is the other thing I okay. forgot to say. Uh, now, how did you come up with the name? I know, I, I know how you came up with most of the name for that band. <laughs> It's, it's, it we just it kind of just happened. I, I would sort of jokingly refer to myself as that, and then a friend of mine got me a ring that had that, the initials on it. Then I did a radio show, and then everybody kind of just heard that, and then kind of I started seeing fans showing up with an LMFP T-shirts at the shows on their own. Right. So right. it just kind of was one of those things that sort of took off. I wish this show was late night with C F O B. You know. <laughs> change my whole thing overnight you know what I mean I like it. look at that that's that yeah. would change everything you, like my whole image now is kind of like you know and uh, sorry I did that so close to you but uh, okay. but overnight that would change it like who are you who am I I'm Conan F. and O'Brien right 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 Nah, it wouldn't work for me. They seem to like it, though. They like it, yeah, but that's an unruly mob you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> There's a woman there who doesn't approve of me, and I will find her. <laughs> Why is he swearing now? Oh. Um, I heard, I don't know if this is true, but, you know, talking about this is your day off and, like, what you do to relax, that you love to watch television, especially Fear Factor. Oh, and you I, love watching the show Fear Factor. I don't like television, but I am crazy about that show. So you only like sort of just my show and Fear Factor. That's yeah, pretty that's much it. it. That's it. Good. <laughs> no, great all TV. Um, so you like, what is it you like about Fear Factor? I, I like to watch them eat. That's, you know, they eat all kinds of stuff. I find that fascinating. But they eat, I mean, I've checked it out a couple times, and I can't do it. I can't watch, you know, last night they were watching, someone was eating like fermented squid guts on really? that show. Yeah. And I just can't. Do you, how do you sit there and watch it? Like, I wouldn't be able to eat for hours before I watch that show. Well, every Sunday night, everyone gathers up at a friend of mine's house, and they make uh, spaghetti, and we watch, you know. The, the, the season finale was a whole table lined up, and they were sticking their hands in these bowls. If they didn't figure out what it was, they'd have to eat it. So it was everything from, like, coagulated blood to rotten cheese with maggots all over it and um, cockroaches, <laughs> centipedes, worms. It's on primetime television, yeah. everybody. They're like, what are they talking about? Uh, yeah, do I don't know how you could eat spaghetti and watch someone, you know, eating a caterpillar. Well, that was I, kinda, I get this odd kick out of it. Everyone gets really mad at me. After. Right. They get <laughs> furious they, with you. Yeah, right? they're furious, but I, I get a kick out of it. What, uh, what's the most disgusting thing you've seen them eat on the show? On that? That, yeah. that, where they had to eat and drink all that stuff, and they had to eat uh, uh, blended up cockroaches, the big ones. Oh, I did that. That's... Did you? <laughs> they drank it. When I first it. was getting started, I never let a scratch. That's a delicacy. Right, right. Um, I also read, as preparing this community today, and I wanted to talk to you about things that just popped to me about you, and one is that you have, you said you have a crush on Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, God, it's never going to go away. Um... Yeah, I did for a while there. You did have a crush on What is it about Darth Vader that, that cuz I you know, I understand some things, but Darth Vader, I don't understand having a crush on Darth Vader. I think it's just the the idea of him, the image, the, you know, the the darkness, the the he's powerful, ended up being good in the end thing. I don't know. I think it's the heavy breathing it's definitely. It's not sane. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you that. I think you just like the guy that's like <gasps> This is fun, actually. That's very <laughs> you liking this? <gasps> <laughs> really You're like, like, I've got to get out of here. No, How I many mean, interviews have you had have ended with that? I don't think so. No, I'm fascinated by yeah, that, actually. Yeah. It's very cool. Oh, really? <laughs> well, <laughs> he'll excuse us. <laughs> okay, no, I won't. Uh, 
You, um, you also, you have a portrait of yourself painted in blood. Mm. Where do you get those? Well, <laughs> Kmart. Kmart has something. Yeah, it's part of the Martha Stewart they line. Hey, Kmart. I, you know, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Martha uh. Stewart starts doing it. Uh, what? Help me through this. How did you get a portrait of yourself in blood? <laughs> who's, whose blood is it? It's a, a friend of mine. He's an artist. He's a painter. And he, um, yeah, he, he, he paints, you know, he does like the, the painting and then he puts his blood all over it. It's sort of his thing. His so he doesn't actually, does signature. he squirt the blood out like Spider-Man and make the... I honestly don't know how. I know, he, I know he, he draws it. He keeps it frozen. and Right. So it's not actually, because I was going to say, he'd probably pass out after yeah, 20 minutes of yeah. painting. Your producer asked me today, isn't he weak? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't he? Yeah, maybe a little bit. You could test yeah. his cholesterol. Just, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Your painting's terrible, and you have high cholesterol. Uh, we were, I just mentioned this to you backstage, because I think this is kind of a strange phenomenon, that I've, I've been to your house, but I've never met you before. I think a lot of Americans have gone to Graceland and taken the tour, and that's your home. It's where you grew up, and, and it must be kind of strange. You actually had family living there for quite a long time. Your aunt, is that yes, right? my aunt. Your aunt lived while people were taking tours through the house, mm -hmm. is that right? <laughs> How would she deal with that? I mean, it's, it, everyone wants to go see, and the lines are incredible. How would she respond to that? Well, she was an alcoholic diabetic, which is not a good com combination. <laughs> not um, doctor recommended, no. 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 <laughs> so she would come out of there, and uh, she would, you know, walk her dog in her, in her robe and come out and scream at the fans and say, what are you looking at, you son of a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> And she became notorious, and people like knew that she was there, and they'd go, "Are you Ann Delta?" And she'd walk up, and she'd go, "No, nah, she died. She's dead." <laughs> you know? That's just strange. So that and was, then, you know, she was always amusing. Right, right. And uh, how do you? I, I want to ask you because we're, we're a little tight on time, but I want to find out about your touring now with uh, with this CD, yes. which is to whom it may concern. I'm curious how you like the touring. Are you enjoying it right now? Is it is it hard? Is it harder than you thought? It's it's going well. I'm, I'm we're having fun. I'm getting more and more used to the idea. Every night, no matter what, go out there and do it. So even if thing. you don't feel well, you get out there. And, Doesn't matter. Well, very cool. To whom it may concern is in stores right now. It was really nice to meet you. It's nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, thanks a lot for being thanks here. So Great to have you on the show. Lisa Marie Presley, everybody. Evan Handler from Second City coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.